It wasn't long ago that the American actress Meghan Markle was seen as injecting new life into Britain's staid royal family, marrying Prince Harry, sixth in line to the throne in 2018. But the mix of transatlantic glamour and royalty quickly turned toxic in the press, with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex criticised for a jet-set lifestyle at taxpayers' expense and accusations in return against some newspapers of racism. In an interview late last year, Meghan hinted that it might all be too much. My British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. There will be critics of the Sussex's decision to go their own way, becoming financially independent, they say, splitting their time between the UK and North America while retaining their royal status. It certainly looks to the outside world as though they're trying to have their cake and eat it. They're trying to cash in on their celebrity status while maintaining that higher level, which is royalty. Um, I don't think those two things uh, can go hand in hand easily. Uh, and the idea of using your royal title to make money is something which uh, certainly the British royal family has never, ever entered into before. Outside Buckingham Palace, expressions of support and regret. I just think it's a shame that the royal family is now split. It's been our pride for so long, and now it's kind of becoming fragmented like the rest of the country. She's come from a different background, and he's come from a different background, but and they're trying to make it work for both families. It's just two families, isn't it, trying to make a situation worthwhile. The UK press carries the story on every front page. The Queen deeply upset, we're told. Apparently she wasn't even consulted in advance. Prince Charles and Harry's brother William incandescent with rage and there's talk of civil war inside the royal family. It's the sort of gossipy reporting that is so common and which Harry and Meghan seem to think will cease or reduce once they put a bit of distance between themselves and this institution. But members of the royal family sometimes forget that the tax-paying public has a legitimate interest in their extravagant lifestyles. Harry's uncle Andrew was reminded of that in his disastrous televised attempt to excuse his friendship with a convicted paedophile. Harry and Meghan, meanwhile, have already been removed from the royal waxwork display at Madame Tussauds, but they're unlikely to escape the media spotlight. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.